Hi and welcome to another That Tech Dad video. Sorry I haven't uploaded any new content for a while. I've been battling COVID and I've been extremely busy on other projects. So I hope you guys are all staying healthy and happy. If like me, you're not in the cool gang of Apple or Spotify music and actually have a subscription for Amazon music and have an Apple watch, this is the day you guys have been waiting for. Well, kind of. Let me show you what I mean. Firstly, before I get into this video, don't hate on me for being an Amazon Music subscriber. I just prefer the interface of the app that Amazon have and it integrates well with my Sonos system in the house and it just really works well. So I've been a loyal Amazon Music subscriber for some time now. And anyway, all the platforms have Lady Gaga's back catalogue anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? As good as Amazon Music is I've always been envious of Apple Music subscribers' ability to stream music from their Apple Watches to their wireless headphones or earphones when they're out for a run offline, for example, without their phone, or be able to download songs from their phone to their watch and listen to it when they're exercising if they don't have a cellular watch and you're just like me, stuck with the normal non-cellular version. Don't get me wrong, I still use this functionality on my Apple Watch loads as it's my only option because all the music I have available to me is the music I purchased back in the day when streaming services weren't even a thing. And as much as I like a bit of retro throwback as much as the next guy, it gets old, literally. So I was super excited to see the latest update for Amazon Music 10.18.10 .10 on my phone the other day which seemed to suggest I would finally at last get that offline functionality I've been longing for. I downloaded the update as quick as I can, opened the apps on my phone, and lo and behold, the Amazon Music app was automatically there on my watch. I owned it up, and after inputting the sync code with Amazon, I was up and running. Then, this is where my world came crashing down. You can indeed see all your playlist songs or albums and play them right from your watch to your headphones or even your phone. However, you have to have your phone with you and connected at all times. There's no offline functionality at all. So this means no listening to Amazon Music when I'm out for a run without my phone and I'm not even sure why you would play music from your watch through your phone if your phone was right there always anyways. Surely it would just be easier to pick up your phone and play it, right? Maybe there's some small niche applications where this would be helpful when you can't be bothered reaching for your phone or your phones across a table or something like that. But for me, it seems pretty limited on when you would use that. The app on the watch, however, does seem very polished for a first app, if somewhat limited. The second most annoying feature, or non-feature rather, is when you select a playlist or an album you cannot select a song from that playlist or that album. You can't even scroll through or even see what songs are in there. The only options are play, skip forward, skip back, repeat and shuffle, making the usability of the app extremely limited. So all in all, I'm glad Amazon have actually made an app for the watch in the first place. It shows their commitment to the platform and I'm sure it will mature over time and gain more functionality, making it much more f useful in the future. But as of now, I think I'm going to be stuck with the retro playlist on my runs. So please, Amazon, add the same ability as the Apple Music app to download music to locally to your phone for offline listening. I'm not sure if developers can actually lever this functionality or if Apple have this locked down for themselves. So you subscribe to their Apple Music rather than any other streaming platform. And if you know if Spotify or Tidal can do this in their app for the Apple Watch, let me know in the con comments below. And please add the ability to see what is in albums and playlists rather than blindly shuffling through playlists or albums like you used to have to do back in the day on Spotify's free tier. So this would be awesome for me and the other 10 Amazon Music subscribers. So you would make our day. <laughs> Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I will send you one free coffee. <laughs> Just kidding, but hit that like and subscribe button anyway and I will see you in the next video.